Hi guys, in this lecture, I will explain to you how to get a composition to be rendered in Adobe Media Encoder when, if you went to composition and you selected add to Adobe Media Encoder queue and Adobe did not open. So what do you do now? Well, it's pretty easy. First of all, make sure that you know where you saved your file because you are going to navigate and uh, find the file. Then you start Adobe Media Encoder. So now you have Adobe Media Encoder CC 2018 open, but you don't have anything in the queue. Notice this is the queue. To add the composition to the queue, of course, you need to file the project file. And from this project file, you will pick the composition. Now, the first thing you can do is start having your favorite, going through your OS or your data, whatever, you know. But there is a smart button here, it's called add source under the queue just add source if you click on it it will open your file manager and you will navigate to where you have saved your project of course you can see compositions here so you select your project that is challenge animation and you click open after effects will use the dynamic link server to open your project so actually you are dynamically linking between adobe media encoder and after effects it has opened the project. Notice what we can see here. In the project, I have two folders and inside the folders, I have the compositions quite organized. This is the composition I want to select to create a video from. Select the composition, click OK. It is not so evident it's going to go so fast with you. Maybe it's going to take its time, start looking, looking at the dynamic server. And you know, <laughs> sometimes it can take up to one minute, depending on how you have organized your hard drive. And this is quite important. If you have an SSD, it will be just so fast. It has put the challenge motion graphics composition from the AE project. And over here, you have the preset of the previous one you have used. In my case, is H.264 Vimeo 720HD. This is not what you want here. We want to work with YouTube. So you go back to the social media and you find, for example, YouTube 720. That's the one you want to use. You click on the preset, you click and drag and drop it under. If you don't want to produce two videos, one for Vimeo, one for YouTube, select the one you don't want and simply press delete and it will be deleted. Okay, it's gone. Now you have the output file. If I click, now notice there is no subfolder now for Adobe Media Encoder. Remember previously we had a folder, challenge animation underscore AME. This came from After Effects. But now directly from AME, you will not have a subfolder. So make sure you are saving in the right place. And you click save. You're ready now to produce your video. As simple as this, you click on the arrow and you will produce it in this location. So it's so easy. You launch Adobe Media Encoder, you go to the plus here, and then you will locate your file. It gives you the folders and other compositions. Select your composition, add the right preset, and then click on the green arrow. So actually, it's extremely easy to produce a video within Adobe After Effects and Adobe Media Encoder. Thank you for listening. I'll see you in the next lecture.